You know, where the fuck Dub at, man? Where the fuck he go? Yo, ass is fine. Boy, that guy Dub, and I'm back with another video. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Deuce from the. What's up? Me and my big bro. Fuck this mill. He said he gonna teach me how to wrestle, man. I'm gonna win the belt. The boy Dub Deuce in the building. You said, like, we talk about coming in and dominating. You said, like, one person that always gets a lot of flack is Le Le LeBron James. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, was I was listening to an interview with uh, Candace, well, uh, an interview with Candace Owen. She was sitting there talking about, oh, we. Because uh, he wants to come off saying that us as black people are being hunted, which we are. You said yeah. us as us as black people. You saying we're being ostracized by the police and being abused by the police, which we are. But because LeBron James has money, he shouldn't he shouldn't speak on that kind of stuff, which I think is stupid. Because once you you saying you get to a certain stature or status, like going back to what we said, reaching back to you saying to help our brothers. You said to like. If something's going on in our neighborhood, yeah, we might not live in that neighborhood no more, but it's on us because if, if we want real change and now we have a bigger voice or a bigger platform to say something about it, I think it's the perfect thing to do. But then you got, like I said, Candace Owens people saying basically a shut up and dribble. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, I'm not that familiar with Candace Owens, but you have to look at Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He stood up for civil rights. Mm -hmm. I think it was Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain. All of those guys stood up for civil rights back then. LeBron mm -hmm. James, I like him because he stands up and he speaks out for his people, regardless of how much money he has. If it's something that's going on out there socially and, you know, people are dehumanizing black people, he uses this platform to speak on it. Absolutely. Yeah. And he and doesn't care. And he doesn't care who don't like it. The league or nobody. <laughs> he does not care. <laughs> it's, it's funny because you said people like, well, LeBron James, he's just a kid from Akron and blah, 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 blah. Or he's this or he shouldn't speak on social issues or he shouldn't care about you saying his where he came from. LeBron James owns half of Akron. Like Le LeBron James is a man. LeBron James is a world renowned figure. Uh, 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 uh. That's major. So mm -hmm. and, and major in our culture. So if he says anything in our culture that is pertaining to the betterment of his people and our people, everybody going to listen and they're going to fall, fall, fall suit with him. Right. Fall right in line with him. You know, where the fuck Dub at, man? Where the fuck he go? Here I am. You looking for me? Yo, ass is fine. Boy, that guy Dub, and I'm back with another video. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Deuce from the... What's up, Me and my big bro. Yeah, fuck this mill. He said he gonna teach me how to wrestle, man. Look, I'm gonna win the belt. The boy Dub Deuce in the building.